Hey everyone, it's Maka from Inside Gaming with Seagate. Taking a quick look at how to get up and running with an internal SATA connected SSD like Seagate's Barracuda SSD. We'll also take a quick peek at a couple of Seagate software tools to help you migrate from an old drive, as well as cover maintenance and monitoring on your new SSD. Let's get inside. Now this video isn't meant to replace the installation guides and manuals that come with your SSD and the Seagate software tools. Links to those are included in the description of this video and you should read through everything carefully. But for a quick overview of the installation process, keep watching and grab a screwdriver. When handling the SSD, make sure to ground yourself first and don't remove the drive from its anti-static sleeve until you're ready to install it. If you can get a D-static bracelet like this one, even better, static can actually damage a drive. Power down your computer, unplug everything, and open it up. Although 2.5 inch drive bays are available, most towers will come with a 3.5 inch drive bay like this one. Your Barracuda SSD can mount to a 3.5 inch bay through these screw holes here. You can also buy a bracket adapter if needed though. Now, just screw it in place. If you're replacing a primary drive, just remove the cables from the existing drive and then plug it straight into the SSD. If this is a secondary drive, locate an available SATA power cable coming off of your motherboard and attach that to the new drive. And then take the supplied SATA connector and plug one into your SSD and the other into your motherboard. Get your tower back into place and fire it up. If this is a new PC build and you're installing the SSD as your primary drive, Make sure that a SATA device is set up in the boot sequence of your BIOS setup. Restart your machine with your Windows Media loaded and your computer should start the operating system installation process. Follow the prompts and you'll soon be asked to designate your install drive. If you're unsure which drive is which, just confirm that capacity sizes match your installed SSD. Select the drive and finish the install. If this isn't a new PC build and you're adding a drive either to expand or replace your storage, you'll need to format the drive in the disk management utility, which you can access with a right click on the Windows Start button. Your new drive will show up as unallocated space. Right click and choose new simple volume and then proceed through the formatting prompts, choosing your drive labels and settings. If your plan is to replace your old drive with your new SSD, you can migrate all your data with Seagate's Disk Wizard software, which comes with every drive and is also available for free on Seagate's website. Install Disk Wizard and use the Clone Disk utility to back up all your files, programs, and operating system, and then recover and install it on your new SSD with a few easy clicks. The Clone Disk operation effectively copies all your contents from one drive onto another without need for reinstallations or reconfigurations. In Disk Wizard's home screen, click Tools and then Clone Disk. In most cases, the automatic mode will be appropriate. Click Next. Select your old hard drive as the source disk and then click Next. Then select your new hard drive as the destination disk and click Next. Confirm that all partitions can be erased and click OK. If everything looks good, click proceed and Disk Wizard will start the process. Again, see the Disk Wizard documentation for complete and detailed instructions. We also recommend you download and install Seagate's CTools application, which lets you monitor the health of your new SSD and allows for regular maintenance of the drive in order to maximize its lifespan. You can find a link to C-Tools and its documentation on Seagate's website. Thanks for watching.